Hello, my dear friend. Once again, you are welcome to the voice of hope. How are you doing today? I believe that you and your entire family, you are doing fine. I am praying for you and I know you are also praying for me and also for this ministry. And I want to take this opportunity to say, God bless you for your constant support, your financial support to this voice of hope ministry. If you desire in any way that as this year is ending, you want to sow a seed in the work of God as the year ends, you are warmly welcome to do that. Our official mobile money number is 055-15-33338. Remember, we have been called in these last days to rescue the perishing. And as we do this using the modern media, you can be a part of this mission. So you can sow a seed as the year is ending. It can be a covenant that you want to have with God. That God, as this year is ending, I want to sow a seed in the voice of all media ministry so that they can use it to propagate the gospel. And God is going to remember you and he's going to multiply that as blessings in your life. So go ahead and do that and God will bless you. Today is day number 53 in our sister day journey into the word of God. And today we are going to start the book of Acts. You know, and we are going to end the book of Acts. Acts is one of the wonderful books in the Bible. It, it is where you get to understand how the church of God began in the Bible. So take your time. You have the entire day. Take your time and read this wonderful book of Acts. And you will discover the truth of God hidden plainly in this wonderful book. Our devotional message is also taken right from the book of Acts. Um, Acts chapter 1 verse 8. Listen to what the Bible says. It says, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, and in all Judea, and in Samaria, and to the end of the earth. This is one of the most amazing Bible texts. And I love this so much because it actually enables us to know what the Holy Spirit is going to do in our lives. This was the promise that Christ gave to the disciples. He says, I must go because if I do not go, the comforter will not come. Then he says that when the Holy Spirit shall come, you are going to receive power. But the question is, what is that power for? A lot of us think that the power of the Holy Spirit is to make money. No. Many people think that the power of the Holy Spirit is to speak in tongues. No. Some think that the power of the Holy Spirit is is to receive prosperity. No. The answer is found right there in the text. That is Acts 1 verse 8. It says, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. And listen to the answer. What is the purpose of that power? And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the world. In other words, we have been given the power of the Holy Spirit to be the witnesses of Jesus Christ. You know, the word power there, from the original language, that is where we get the word dynamite. So we are not just talking about some small power. We are talking about explosive power. Power to divide the kingdom of the enemy. Power to break down the shackles of sin around the lives of people all over the world. You have been given that power. Why are you not sharing the truth with other people? Today, God says, come and receive power irrespective of who you are or where you come from, you can receive that power of the Holy Spirit and you will become a witness for him. And in these last days, as the year ends, you will shine for him. I pray for you that God would fill you with the Holy Spirit. I am praying that God would lead you with the Holy Spirit and I'm praying that the power of the Holy Spirit will turn you into an evangelist, someone whose life will draw other people to the cross of Jesus Christ. May God bless you today. May he shine his glorious face upon you, even as you spend time reading the book of Acts today. Have a blessed day. Shalom.